right, people? I am Eric Jones, and I am on a lot of ecstasy, and I can feel the air trying to hug me. Get off me, gay air! We're here this today on this Information Wars to talk about Angry Birds, the movie, and how it is part of a liberal agenda to get rid of the voters who will vote Republican because I use the Infinity Gauntlet style that might sound crazy, but so is my wife's claim that I am unfit to take care of my children! So in this movie, we've got a bunch of hippie birds that are all lovey-dovey and smoking dope, but there's one bird amongst them who's angry, and he's red, red, like the red state that knows the truth about Hillary's emails and how they cheaply introduce the Flash and Cyborg and Aquaman into the DC Extended Universe, but we're not going to talk about that right now, we're still talking about angry birds and my rising blood pressure and how that movie shows that they should have listened to Red who said that the pigs were bad, see there's these pigs, people. Stay with me now. There's these pigs, and they're coming to the island with their gay frog water, and they're gonna try to pretend to be the friends, and all the hippie birds are like, cool, let's bring these pigs in, and the angry red bird knows better, but nobody listens to him, and it turns out the pigs are there to eat their young. Nah, they should have listened. Now, some people would say... That this movie is just a way to indoctrinate children with racism and anti-immigration policies that have since swept our nation and many others like it. But I say... Okay, people, now stay with me here, all right? This is going to sound a little nuts. Stay with me. Stop trying to change the channel, Meg! I see you doing that, you stay put, and you listen. You listen with your ears. Now the Dems, they want to wipe out half the galaxy, the Republican half, okay? Stay with me now. Now they need Thanos to snap his fingers to make that happen. So they need him to not be in prison, because if he's in prison, he can't do that, right? So the Democrats are going to use a soul stone to bring back Johnny Cochran. So Johnny Cochran can go to Thanos' trial and represent him and say that the glove didn't fit. The glove didn't fit. Now that sounds crazy, right? But you stay tuned and I'm gonna connect those dots. I am gonna connect them. Oh, I feel the spirit of patriotism filling me, filling me with Jesus and apple pie and bald eagles and a three-layer freedom burrito. Now, in this movie, there's uh, some confusion, it seems, as to what the demographic is exactly. There's humor in this movie. Where the birds say things like, pluck my life, or go pluck yourself, instead of saying, fuck. That might seem inappropriate for a movie aimed at small children, but don't worry, because there's also jokes about poop and drinking urine. In fact, we watch birds spit water back and forth into each other's mouths, only to find out it's urine. These are the kind of jokes that they keep throwing out there, trying to appeal to everyone, and in the end, appealing to no one at all. Oh, man, it's very confused and unfocused as to its demographic. But that's okay, because it's unimportant. What matters right now is continuing to make the connections between the Democratic Party and Infinity War. I will connect those dots now, what I call Infinity Gate. All right, now stay with me here, people. Stay with me, okay? Now, some people would say that in those last couple uh, takes, you could hear a fan going on in the background, and that is fake news. That is fake news. That That is a lamestream media putting in fan noises. Now, I could go back and redo those, but I do not go back on my word. I do not do second takes. No, no, I do not do that. Now, let's talk about something that the Democrats don't want you to hear. Now, in the movie Avengers, Tony Stark, he calls Hawkeye Leglos, refusing Leglos Greenleaf, the elf from the Lord of the Rings series, which means that the movies Lord of the Rings exist in the MCU as movies, but... Hugo Weaving plays an elf in those movies, and he also plays the Red Skull, which means that the Red Skull is not only a Nazi who disappeared back in 40 C, but also an actor in present day, which doesn't make any sense. The only explanation is that the Avengers and all the events in it were staged. Now, what are they trying to tell us there? Think about it. An attack on New York City staged. So, Angry Birds is a movie that relies heavily on run-on gags, like toilet humor, like drinking pee, see? And another guy, 
uh, having to go boom boom a lot. And there's a big guy that he likes to hug people. And that's a run on gag because that's funny for some reason. And then there's a mom and it talks. And that's funny because moms don't talk. Get it? Get it? That's a joke that's so funny they do it like seven times. And there's another thing about a guy who talks too fast. And he does that for like most of the movie. You just watch this dude just talk really fast. And, and it's filled with sex jokes for 12 year olds that don't know what sex is. And uh, it's all basically there to mark time until we get to the slingshot that, that reminds you of the video game and that this has any connection to it. And it's all there to basically mask uh, racist humor and phobia towards outsiders. And I, I don't know what demographic they think that will appeal to, but they seem to think it's the people that are going to enjoy that strange scene that we have that's a country music video for no apparent reason. Thanos somehow knew that a gauntlet would be hard to take off his hand. Now, who told him that? Think about this now. Think about it hard, okay? Now, he could have made an infinity yarmulke and put all, put all the purge rocks on that. But that would have got knocked off his head real fast. Someone told him not to do it. Now, where were the Clintons when Thanos was making that decision? We didn't see. Did the Clintons say that they did not warn him? Well, they have not come out and said that they have not. What are they hiding? My theory here, people, if you follow the money, is that the Clintons helped orchestrate a cover-up of the Avengers so that Thanos could know to use a gauntlet rather than a yarmulke so that he could use the Soul Stone to bring back Johnny Cochran who could get him off so that he could go ahead and successfully murder half the universe, the Republican half. This is a conspiracy, people. And the the soul of America is at stake. Do you understand? Okay, I'm not going to lie. That was all kinds of terrible <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, you know, it's been a really busy week for me uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, also, I had a big concert that I went to that took up most of a day, so I lost a whole day there. So, Lindsay Sterling and Effervescence, and that was freaking phenomenal. It was a great show. Uh, I also had a big demoing party at Arcane Comics and more, and they were fantastic. They did a great job. Uh, my game is now available over there, and they are on Aurora in Seattle. Uh, big thank you to them. Uh, so basically, yeah, my time for doing something like this has been very low. Also, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie. This is what I sound like. Uh, and it, it sounds a little like a cartoon pterodactyl fuck screech from Saved by the Bell, and this was the result. So trying to sound like Alex Jones is not easy for me. It feels like my throat is just full of bloody sand right now. I don't know how he keeps it up for hours a day. Uh, you probably noticed even towards the end here, I, I couldn't even keep that up. That was insane. Uh, other announcements, uh, there's a lot more to see at my uh, website, darkwana.com. I should have a link to that down there. Uh, in addition to that, we... Uh, We've been having some problems for our retailers uh, where since I've changed the site, it keeps wanting to charge them sales tax, and we're working through that. Should have that fixed by the end of this week, hopefully, and that will be back on track. Uh, other than that, let's see. Uh, I plan to do uh, a review for Season 2 of Iron Fist next. I think I'm also going to start doing a show where I defend uh, shows or movies or maybe even video games I think got an unfair rap. Uh, that's a maybe, a possible thing I might start doing. I won't be the first to try that. Uh, of course, subscribe, ring the bell, throw me a like, a comment. That's if you're even watching this on the YouTube channel, Dark Wanna Games. You might be watching it on uh, my site, my main website, as I'm posting these on there as well. Uh, and other than that, please do check out the website, though. Uh, it means a lot to me when people go and, uh, and purchase my games or my novels. Uh, I'm getting ready to start playtesting the final drafts of three new games, so the library of that will go up instead of just having the one game currently that I have. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to knocking that out as well. I'm probably going to do a Kickstarter for two of them, which will be Co King of Coasters and Wonderworthy, which are two games I've worked very hard on, and uh, I, I hope people do enjoy them. 
So until next time, thank you. And uh, what, what was our silly catchphrase? Uh, gonorrhea thunder waffles. I'm, I'm not changing it. <laughs>